Bikes, bikes, bikes. That's right, we're here at Life Fitness Australia talking about the ICG, IC5, and IC7. The difference between them, what's similar, uh, now that the IC5 has actually had a significant update. Here we go, Aaron, let's go. Let's go. So, first things first, IC5. Uh, it looks beautiful. It's, uh, since I was last here, the, the uh, wheel was, you know, the silver, the more traditional. Um, there's, there's actually been a big upgrade of it, um, just looking at the whole thing. So let's, yeah. let's talk about, um, first of all, what's changed? Yep, so you're exactly right with the aesthetics. So they've got a lot more black um, throughout the unit, taken away yep. a bit of the silver. Um, a lot more stealthy. Yeah, a lot more stealthy, certainly more along the lines of what uh, the market was sort of asking for in terms of colours. Um, one of the other major changes which they have made on the IC5 to fall in line a little bit more with the 7 is we used to have a lever for the yes. adjustment dial Yep. Um, and we've gone to the turn dial now with 100 Fantastic. levels of resistance. If you just step out of way for a second, I'm just going to go right across the IC7 and we'll show you they're the exact same dial. Very cool. So they're exactly the same now as are the handlebars. Um, yep. How you adjust the handlebars is a little bit different between the five and the seven. Okay, yeah, show us So that. on the five, we've got a spring-loaded adjustment. So you just loosen it off a little bit, pull the uh, unit out yep. and slide it up or down. Yep. On the seven, it's gas assisted. So it's a little bit um, easier to adjust on the seven and you've got micro adjustments. Right, so let's have a look at that one. So on the seven with gas assisted, all you do is just release the lever and then it just slides up yep. or down. And like I said, you don't, you're not locked into an exact number. Yep. We could go 13 and a half if we wanted yep. or whatever it might it's be. Just and we just lock it in. Right, so let's just go back to that and return there. So, so this, because um, this is a pin base, it's actually got holes, correct? So can correct. you just lift it up to a point where we can see some yeah. of the holes? So I just loosen it off. Right, okay, so you can see those holes there. So that's, that's um, one kind of significant difference in terms of just uh, adjustments. It's micro adjustment on IC7 and, you know, a step adjustment for IC5. Exactly. So cool. Yeah. And that would be the same for the seat as well. Yes, so the seat, seat adjustment okay. at the back is exactly the same. So we just loosen it off, pull the pin, lock right. it into place, yep. and same scenario. So on the 7 with the gas assisted, all you do is just release the lever and then it just slides up yep. or down. And like I said, you don't, you're not locked into an exact number. Yep. We could go 13 and a half if we wanted yep. or whatever it might be. And we just lock it in. Okay. The, the adjustments in terms of moving the seat forward and back is actually the same. Yep. So you've just got the little braking system that you just lock into place. Being the IC5, being a little bit cheaper, being uh, the lower model, um, good, better, best solution if you think about it. You know, where, where they're saving some money or where you're saving some money is for example, this one is the same, uh, looks like the same handle or lever. Uh, but it's not painted. So there's just a few extra little details that you're getting on the IC7 versus the IC5. All right, so let's move along. So we said the handlebars are the same. I want to talk about the handlebar section here just very quickly. I'm going to take over, mate, because I've actually ridden um, IC, ICG bikes for a number of years now. I've had a few of them, uh, rode thousands of kilometers, uh, different handlebar setups, etc., etc. IC7, IC8. Um, and what I do love about the IC7 uh, and IC5 is these cups. Um, now it's a little thing, but it was missing on the ICA. Yeah. Um, so I had to come up with my own water bottle solution, which was crazy. Uh, but uh, you know, the IC, IC7, IC5 share the same um, handlebar uh, solution, but not the same computer. So can we talk about the computer? Because there are there is a difference between the two. Yeah, exactly um, right. So the IC7 has okay. the 2.0 uh, console, TFT 2.0. Yep. Um, it's self-generating, so Nate's just started pedaling on it and he's got to get it going. Um, you can see it's just starting to fire up now. Yep. Um, being a showroom model as well, it doesn't hold a huge amount of charge in here because it's not getting ridden uh, a great deal. Yep. Um, generally in clubs, they'll fire up a little bit quicker than what you see here. Yep. Um, but the 2.0 console is full color. So the console itself, if I go to um, a power training mode and I choose Set my details and my FTP. Is that all, mate? That's 200. all. That's oh. all. <laughs> uh, it then gives me the option for the color mode. So as yeah. Nate starts pedaling, you can see it's gone to blue. Um, back to white. I'm going to increase the load again. Try and move us up into zone three, which is green. Yeah, go for it. I can handle it. You can handle it. One legged. Yeah. Okay, into green. Next zone is yellow, which we're into there. And then red is zone five, which you can see there. 
one-legged red zone. I'm on fire! <laughs> so that's that's the IC7? Correct. So let's go over to the IC5. So the major difference with the 5 console is that the whole screen is in colour, just this light at the top. I'm just going to start that up. And it is uh, battery driven, so you can see it fires straight up. Yep. So I'm going to go through and select power training again. Pick my mode, it'll again set 200 because I've picked the same settings. Turn my colour mode on. Here's the zone we're in at the moment. So as he increases it up, I'll just give it a little bit more. Yeah, give them all. Yep. About to get into zone two. There we yep. are in zone two. And you can see the lights turn blue and it will continue changing as we work our way through the different zones. So rather there's green, there's yellow, a little bit more again, there's red. So you can see the five different zones. So it still works a similar sort of way, but you don't get the full color screen. And also at the front here, it doesn't have the light. The IC7 has a light that shines at an instructor. So the instructor can see what color zone each of the bikes, uh, the, the members are at, what they're riding at. Um, okay, so, so it looks like same pedals. Same pedals. Which are dual sided. Correct. For SPDs and Regular shoes. That's right. Um, ICG logos are all the same. There's uh, definitely a, a, a stance di difference. Di so this one's flatter, whereas that's correct. More it's got angle. more of a bit of a sort of, I guess, the racing mode. So yeah. slightly different frame shape. And then the only other um, major difference is the internal workings with how they calculate power. Yep. So on the IC7, we've got a power meter inside the unit at the crank. Right. So it's measuring power to basically one percent. Right. Um, so it's extremely accurate when it's giving that reading to the user. Yep. Um, on the IC5, again, to try and bring the price down a little bit, they use a algorithm to calculate um, what sort of power the user is putting out. So it is still quite accurate um, inside 5%, but right. not as accurate as the IC7. Right, but they're using data from uh, the knowledge that they've picked up from the IC7. Correct, yeah. So yeah. with a direct power meter, they're able to know that if someone's 75 kilos riding at 40, um, uh, level 40 um, at a certain RPMs, then what sort of power they're putting out, they know how that correlates to the IC5. So that's why it's still very accurate. Fantastic. So the other thing I would just will point out here, this is a handle um, that comes standard on the new 7. So my bike, the, the one that I had, the IC7, uh, was the original one that uh, Life Fitness were producing and it says Life Fitness on the side of it. Um, whereas the branding now is ICG um, because that is one of the family of brands that Life Fitness own. Um, so, so basically uh, when you look at uh, Hammer Strength, um, ICG, these are examples of brands that are under the Life Fitness brand. Um, so they've gone uh, to the roots basically of each brand and what's what they're known for because ICG was a fantastic indoor cycling manufacturer with a fantastic reputation yeah, and name. Absolutely, yeah, um, it's their specialty. They only yeah. do bikes, so yep. um, all we're basically doing is, is sort of um, using the heritage of ICG now yep. um, rather than trying to sort of turn it into Life Fitness. It's still ICG, but um, it, it was acquired by, the company was acquired by Life Fitness, so it's one of the, the brands that fall under our family of brands. Yeah, and so just going back to that point, uh, the bike that I had, which was under the Life Fitness brand, uh, before they did a rebranding, actually uh, has uh, didn't have a handle at the back, but this one does. It does. So, can it be retrofitted, do you know? Uh, you probably could, I mean, it's going through the same sort of bolt section that's set yeah. up there, so Cause it's I imagine the... it could be ordered. I'd have to get confirmation. But yeah, so because so, it's going through the bolt, um, of these. So this this has just got the, the protecting like little cap uh, on it. So I'd say that say that it would. We'll have to get some confirmation, mate. Can you do that? I'm That's your homework. That yep. But like, like you've got nothing else to do. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Alright, Aaron, so is there anything else to talk about? Not really. They're, 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 all, they're all the major differences between the two bikes. And yep. um, I mean, both are very, very popular. It just depends on um, you know, what sort of features and functions you place as a priority or as important to the facility and the members. Yeah. Um, and also what you, what you sort of want to spend from a budget point of view. But we've got both bikes which are quality wise, there's uh, no difference. It's yep. really just a couple of those features and functions.